Welcome to the video, this is my full playthrough of Stray, the cat game that just came out and we've been waiting years for. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you. If you want to get my gaming recommendations, follow me up on Instagram and TikTok, and also I have a podcast of bedtime stories if you want me to tuck you in at night. Like and subscribe and leave a meow in the comments if you're enjoying this playthrough, and let's go. <gasps> a robot friend. The slums. I was just a mean kitten on the streets, slumming it, trying to find my way home. The... The people here fear me. They know my reputation. Floating brooms would not get in my way. What's his problem? The robots not like cats? So all of the calendars have stopped at October 11th as well. Whoa, okay. <laughs> they are afraid of me. I run the streets. so puzzled by this. I wonder how much lore we're gonna get in backstory. I wanna know everything about this place. What happened? Who are these robots? Are we, uh... Oh, look. Friendly. Meat. Beep boop. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Ah, they think I'm related to those blobs. Interesting. for me. Say I'm chill. I make you happy. Oh my god. Look at those ones in there, and they get shocked when I meow. Uh, <laughs> amazing. You look lost, what do you need? Ah, so I can show items if I have anything. What about the postcard? A picture of the outside, ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows it's impossible to leave this place, except the outsiders. They're all gone now, except Momo. Try and talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Ask B12 for help. I'm here to help. Yeah, we'll go up there. Hello, as new neighborhood cat, you feed less. You're sleeping. Wake up. It's breakfast time. Um. Ah. Why 
I go up there? There's nothing there. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work. I'll be 375, four years old tomorrow. What about the postcard? Such a beautiful dream. What a shame, it's just a dream. <laughs> As Chalamrilu. The ancient stories speak of natural light that leaked from a star and landed at our feet. This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them to grow. Hmm. Our long-gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. The humans. Only our ancestors can distinguish these colours. It is said they once dominated the world. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. No one's even going to be impressed by my scratching. That's it. Look at me. Look at me. Lucky cat. Let's see if we can get it in. First time every time. Get it in. And... It's good. Inspect electric cables. I'm the merchant of the market. Give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. An ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. Three energy drink cans. Okay. Music sheet. A masterful piece of art of a very renowned artist. One energy drink can. Okay, I wonder what I do with the music sheet. Fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. Leto. Ah. Uh, how about you? Do you like it? We're friends now. You smell like me. This is Elliot programming. Knock on the door, wait for us to open. I had a cat once that would... There was like a bit that was broken on the bottom of the front door when we lived in this flat. And he would pull that bit and then like let go of it and it would... Oh, hey! <laughs> and would literally knock, knock on the door when I was a kid. Using a little broken bit of the front door, like pull the wood back and then snap it against the thing. I'm trying to meet you, but I guess I'll just uh, invite myself in. Hi, sir. Thanks for letting me in. He's sleeping. Not waking up for me. We were programmed to be slaves. Well, but since blah 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 days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders find the exit of this hell, Momo. You're here for Elliot? He's over there. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what humans would have wanted. 
aqui. I live here now. Wait, can I curl up here? No. Can I help you? What's that? A beach? Never heard of that in my whole life. Hmm, I guess I don't need you yet, then. You do look a little like a Zerk, from far away at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Ah. So they can get them. Hello, good sirs. You done with this? You are now. something. Yeah, friends. Change the music. Nice. One milk, my good sir. You do around here. What can I do for you? <gasps> what about the sheet music? I don't play an instrument. Ah, okay. He's sleeping. The Duffer Bar. What she got in the fridge? Anything for me? Huh? What a robot's drink. Oh, yes. Here we go. I'm actually so good at pool in real life. Wait. No. Head it to the bulls. Go. Okay. That's not what we wanted to do, is it? Well... Ah, now there's a musician. I'm a musician, I don't have any songs. What about this? This tune contains exactly 44 notes. Shut up. <laughs> That's the cat telling him to be quiet. Ah, uh, sleeping. The controller is purring. I can feel it. And I think the purring is coming out of the sound on the controller as well. Hey, Mr. Music Man, shush. Stop, please. Uh, putting a bag on my head because I don't want to hear it no more. Oh, it re it's reversed all of my controls. That's hilarious. Eh. You know someone's going to do a run when they play the... Uh oh, okay. It falls off, so now I was going to say someone would keep it on the whole time. What about this other bit of music? Thanks for the music, I'll practice. Do you think you can find more? Sure. I'm, I'm assuming I have to find them all and then you can actually play a good song. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Let's hope this one sounds a bit better. That's nice, huh? Well, well done, much better. Oh, what's this? A 
Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Where do I get... Ah. Is this how I... Ah. So this is how I can... Uh trade for stuff. Visiting the different vending machines. Safe's mysterious password. Hang on. Follows the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zero and ones. Binary code, only a real geek. Ah, uh, a real geek, you say? I might have just come from visiting a real geek. Grandma's clothing. Hi, Grandma. I do love knitting. Oh, I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. Bring me some electric cable, I'll make you a poncho! Bloody hell, okay? I want a poncho. Let's do that. Wait, wasn't it here? Aha! Yeah. Oi, nerd, help. You want me to read this binary code? Just a second, I need to calibrate my lenses. Here, it means duffer bar. Strange, who gives rendezvous by a binary code? <laughs> Keeping you busy, Nesta. Could have gone out the window, but... Work for me, human. I mean, robot. Sorry, is that offensive to your people? I don't know. I got confused. I think you're offended. I'm guessing it's going to be just like written somewhere, or it could be like the address. Ooh. <gasps> Way out into the street. There's a number outside. Honestly, just loving being a cat and going around and just exploring. Even though we're not really moving anything forward right now, like it's just so chill. One, one, two, eight, three? Thought it was gonna be a memory, but it's the code. <gasps> Another memory. Rip humans. With a heart, it's cute. Humans were the first residents around here. Seems they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? Don't know what death feels like for an AI. Sorry, didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Why do I feel like something horrible is going to happen to you now? My little robot. Stop. Cry if something happens to you, to either one of us. Loud. One, two, eight, three. Sheet music. Very readable, but I can try.
Why was it like I was singing in time and in tune? Where are we going? What's up here? The rooftops. Ah, vending machine. Poncho, here we come. We're up here. Snoozing with you, my friend. So cute. We look so diddy. to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Ah, it was fake. What are they doing? I love how I just perch. I wonder if I can, like, distract the mid-throw. Down here. <laughs> oh, hang on. It is a timed thing. I'm going to be distracting them. I have to do it like maybe just before. situation. Must be some reason we wanted this open. Ooh. Ah, super spirit detergent, I guess. Why yet? I'm not entirely sure. Shall see. To the shop. I do want that mystery package too, but I'm gonna take this. Oh, that's for the detergent. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take this too. An ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. Three energy drinks. Right. What is it? A memory. Early model of a companion. Back then they didn't have any personality, just glorified autonomous cleaners. It's nice they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them and, in a way, kind of kept them from going extinct. Good robots. So then I guess I need another one for uh, the sheet music. One drink. Okay. So where's the orange up there? Tech 
issues. What's up, bud? It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. What do you want? Outside? A picture of the outside? Do you want to go there? Don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that receive transceiver doesn't work. Oh, he said. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you want to go there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Elmo seems sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook. Outside this manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. Protect our brothers and sisters. Stay away from Zerks. Signed Clementine, Baltazar, Doc, and Momo. Find the other notebooks. Okay. The Outsiders. They were like a gang. A club. Side note, this is why you never leave snack bags around, because animals do this, and it's very bad. It's very dangerous. You get them stuck on their head. So, tidy your room. Don't leave crisp packets around if you have pets. And don't litter. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system. To date, the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It's a single natural satellite, the Moon, which formed soon after. Wait, just teach him about the Earth here. Cool. Back home too. I remember this video game. Made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. Scientists and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Hmm, mysteries. I will leave you something to remember me by. I guess you're lucky there isn't a poop button. No. What's this? You have a... Why do you have a cat toy up here? Time to find the others. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. No, not all the way down. That's not what I wanted. Wait, we do leave prints. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> that's why he's get that's why he gets annoyed with us. I am with my back to you. That wouldn't happen. 
way, but like zooming out, I wonder how far we're gonna go if I just wait here and sleep. How dare you stack these back up. I had those arranged just as I wanted them, all over the place and on the floor. Sit down, we're so adorable. Ooh. Cute. Little hop. Notebook. An outsider's notebook. The same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes, I know the look. He will not come with us. And they left without him? Or well, he was, like, too scared, maybe? I know he wishes he went. Oh, music. Cool place. Go back over the way. Oh no, wait. Oh wait, hang on, what's that? More sheet music. Wait, I got it. I'm so good at finding stuff. Catapult. Let me turn notifications off actually because it's the one thing with PlayStation is like, I actually don't, um, like it interrupting me with notifications. You'll be like in a really sad scene and um how do I go back to the game? You'll be in a really sad scene and it'll be like Boodunk completed the game notification. Like, go away. Alright, where's this guy live? Orange Wait, there's another thing there. That is also one of the outsider's places. Aha. Careful. Oh, remote. Uh, there's a cat watching the nose. Put cartoons on. <laughs> Robot game show. Shopping <laughs> television. They really are mimicking us, aren't they? in order to be as creative as a real human. Are you dead? I think so. <gasps> what a place to have a little snooze. scenes are amazing. Hey Doc, found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Jess, the librarian. Okay. Buried behind a bunch 
bunch of books. It's right here. Keys. Gotta be the notebook, right? This one belongs to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Alright, one left. Let's look for the symbol. does look like there's one potentially up there, doesn't it? That logo. In there. So you were in there. Let me go in there. Hmm. To go uh, over to that. Whoa! Throw in that chair. Cat, cat, kitty, cat. Uh huh. Aha, uh -huh, I'm going in that way. Ventilation power supply. Well, let me just go ahead and stop that. I'll be sure to fix it when I'm done. I am so smart. Such a smart cat. Ah. When you drink in game, drink in real life. Stay hydrated. This is the room, though, so where is the... Nothing in here. Maybe it's outside. Hmm, this just takes me back out. So this should be an outsider's place. Maybe I have to knock the boxes over and get it out. There we go. The last notebook. This belongs to someone named Baltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. A note that says I found a design for in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. Help Momo. Okay. Let's get a Momo. Fix their ventilate. Do you know what? It's fine. They'll be fine. They're a robot. Are they really feeling the heat? Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? It's Balthazar's notebook, right? Never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Oh, belongs to Doc. He's really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff, always on the verge of a great discovery. Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know? The most fearless person I've ever met. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? What's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. I'm sorry, I doubted our cause. I promise you, I'll find a way to reach the surface. I love his little, uh, like, rainbow space face. Thank you. I might be able to find your way up. 
Let's fix this piece of junk. Interesting that picture of a human face behind. I feel like I've, everything else has been robots that I've seen. There's that big portrait there. I wonder if it's like the creator or something. Et voila, it works. Come with me. What this guy's outfit. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. No. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Where do you want me to go? All the way up there? Dangerous. But away we go. The rooftops. Well, well, well. If it isn't a bunch of zerks. Bunch of jerks, more like. Whoa. Why would I meow to attract them? I'm too fast for you, Zerks. I can taunt them. <laughs> Didn't expect them to get up there. Let's see, where are we going from here? A speed run of this would be so satisfying. For what? Oh, there's a memory. The city's full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. People couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colours again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Whoa. Did I want to go on there? I wonder who the oppressors are. wheeling. Nice. What a smart kitty. Okay. Over there, I should think. This mine now. Uh oh, they're coming. <laughs> Punks! Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, eh? Idiots. Uh, Stinking blobs. Hey! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I thought you were trapped. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, I have to trap you in there. 
Um, so maybe what we do is... How quickly can I get to the other side and track me? Like, maybe I open this? Ah! There we go. So I didn't have to get to this side, it did it for me. Good. Eh, uh, mugs. Mugs, mugs, mugs. There's literally two voices for cats, and it's either Datwanus, Declarusus, Deshervis, Degobo, eh, eh, eh. We can do, Mag. Or it's like sort of a more, hmm, yeah, it's like a thoughtful cat, you know? But this definitely feels like a naughty little, eh, we are doing? <laughs> little cockney rascal. And then you have like the Coraline type of talking cat. Which you can hear in the audiobook for Coraline, read by me. Down to sleep on Spotify and everywhere you listen to podcasts, as well as YouTube. That's my plug. Also hit the like and subscribe whilst you're at it. Why not? Um, okay. Uh, so bad at promotion. Slink. Man, this place, uh, looks sticky. Oh, here they come. Okay. Look at them making such a bloody mess, eh? Alright, go. Run, kitty! Oh! Oh, get juked. This is so fun! Oh my gosh. It works really well. You know, I really thought the, uh, the jumping, not being able to jump other than when it lets you, was gonna really annoy me, but it works really well. Let me guess, I want to get in here. Uh, there's Kamen! Oh, why do they explode? So wait, I think I wanted this out of here, but why? Ah. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Imagine this having a sad ending, but I feel like it's maybe going to be bittersweet. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's going towards anything happening to the cat. I really hope not. I would be shocked. Maybe the robot, though. 
some sort of some sort of twist going on. Hmm. That opening. Need you to. Here it is. Put the transceiver on the antenna. Push. What's your favourite colour of cat? It's very hard. I've had so many cats in my life. I do love a black cat, though. I always need to have a black cat. Since I was very young. Always had one. I love all kinds, though. I love tabbies, too, actually. I had an amazing tabby from when I was, like, two till I was, like, 18. Very sweet boy. Probably my two favourites. But then you can't beat black and white either, so... Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. I just love all cats, I guess. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now, this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Let's go back and find Momo. Now we've connected the transmitter. We should be able to get help. Shortcut. <laughs> so cute. Uh, there's my little robot friend. I'd protect you. There's come live with me in my colony of cats. I'd make you a little cat bed. Robot cat. Self congratulatory clean. Momo. A note. A little outsider, if you're reading this, it means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is simple. Oh. It must be the code for the window near the entrance. My bad, let's try again. Well done, B12. Ooh, that's so smart. All the kind of asmr -y sci fi sounds in this. see the robot's eyes poking out the backpack. So cute. Little piggyback. Thanks. Okay, to the bar. Are you cold? Do you want a poncho? No. Asking everyone I can. I also need a drinks can for that other bit of sheet music. This guy just wanders around. Maybe you? No. Bam, bam, bam. 
Isn't this the bot? There it is. Hi, Momo. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a single signal. <laughs> well, careful, doctor. Can I? <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Ow, not so rough. Let's see if we can get this thing working. Almost got it. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We're from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Is that you, Balthazar? Momo? I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Do you still hear me? This could be a trap. This seems off. You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Damn it. We've lost the signal. Balthazar's alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The most dangerous place in the slums, but if Balthazar made it, there must be a way. never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. <laughs> Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist, working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. A little cat burgling. Ah, new dad. <laughs> robot dad, robot dad. Going out burgling with my robot dad. Breaking and entering with my robot dad. Gonna build a weapon with my robot dad. Does he leave Prince? No. You're right to be annoyed with us both. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help. Well, that was to be expected. The situation's pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you... This guy sounds like a speaking spell. Spell. Machine. I think I have an idea. You want me to break in, right? Uh -huh. Take Doc's notebook, show it to Seamus. Contains a lot of information. Find the secret lab. I'm going back to the bar. Okay. Have a little snoop around first, of course. Oh! What are you doing in here? I told you getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Uh, how's this book, though? Is this my papa's? I, wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat. But where?
time will tell clock. Two, five, one, one. So maybe that's a code for somewhere. And I gotta find the code. Chumps. So cute. There you go. If a cat did that, you'd be like, what? Zerk in a jar. Sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in dark. Reacts to intense light. Never seen this room. Can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. His blueprints must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums. He never came back. The music in here is gorgeous. Robot news. Zerk officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. <laughs> it's so cute. The scramble. Light-based handgun. Low priority visual appearance. Decibel emitted. High priority test in real condition. 20 Zerk destroyed a second. I found something. That. Wait, I remember that. It's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it and find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. I don't even get any tri ah! treats for all this work, you know? It's been a while since I've eaten. Just saying. Maybe that nerd can fix it. Let's see what B12 says we should do. Get it repaired. Show it to some folks. Okay. I'm thinking the nerdy guy. Now, where were you? That's the question. You're around here somewhere. Ah, the ball reset. Two in a row. It's good! Maybe you're cold. No. You're new. Look at all this great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. Go visit the bottom and something for everyone over there. Let me show you this. Maybe the bartender knows how to fix it. Okay. Hey. 
What a beautiful object, and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this, very talented, just a little... well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is left of here, near Grandma's. That is the, uh, nerdy guy, right? Left. Near Grandma's. There's Grandma. Ah, yeah, in here. Uh, thank you. No, 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 no. Wow. The camera angle sometimes. Oh, uh, I was trying to give you the other thing, but yeah, you can have the poncho, sure. He was probably going to ask for that, I guess, in exchange for helping. Thanks for the poncho. See me if you need anything fixed. Well, it's funny you should mention that. Great. Tracker. I recognize this model. It's Tahima BR2000. Track anyone with this gadget. May I? Give it an update and... Voila. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. I thought I came in that window before. This one. Scramble, scra scramble, scramble. Oh. I don't think I want it to be up here. Fixed it. You did it. You fixed it. Give it here. This is so cute, just being a cat, just wandering alongside him like this. Pretty adorable. Here, huh? It's dangerous out there, but... I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Seamus. I don't want to, you know, find your dad and lose you in the process. Look at all these Zerg eggs. They'll eat us. I, I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He'll know you're a friend. I'll open the door. Good idea, Seamus. do this. Mm -hmm. Look how 
huge the wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Uh, terrible humans. Alright. Dead end. Time for a chase, I think. You ready, little one? Let's go. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to catch what happens next, hit that like and subscribe and turn the notifications on to catch the video when it goes up. That part will probably drop tomorrow. So in the meantime, click one of those videos on the screen to go on another adventure with me and I will see you in the next video.